Wow. <clears throat> okay, YouTube, uh, you're joining me a bit late. I sort of got engrossed in uh, setting my camp up, but this is just another, uh, you know, night out and uh, get the get the bug out trailer out, check it all out, and uh, make sure it's all tickety boo. I did have a bit of trouble with my. Uh, power trolley I think the little uh, LED light came on on the trailer and it's flat so that was a lesson learnt for me uh, here's my uh, truck trailers all set up and uh, I got a little bit carried away like I say I should have started filming a little earlier really but uh, I've set the pot belly stove up and what I'm gonna do is bake some bread in it so um, just put it on the fire basically there's the dough and I'm going to cook it in that uh, silver foil instead of a plate so it's a bannock type uh, dough you know it's um, flour yeast a um, little bit of oil uh, I got quite a sweet tooth so um, I put some uh, um, syrup in it and um, some uh, olive oil just to uh, as my secret ingredient lion's golden syrup <laughs> that's top secret bread to really put you on your feet it's uh yeah it's uh, low fat and um no sugar <laughs> uh, it's gonna go in the pot belly stove it's just warming up it's been on for about 10 or 15 minutes um obviously i've set it for between 130 and uh 180 you know so uh shouldn't have any problems at all doing my bread in about uh, 25 30 minutes um not a lot else to tell you really that's the camp you know I'm pretty much all set up for a night away uh, a few beers later uh, did I've upgraded my uh, camp bed because <laughs> I'm uh, too old too fat too slow to have uncomfortable nights on the ground unless uh, I absolutely have to so I've um, upgraded my camp bed and I'm looking forward to a good night on that when it gets dark I've uh, bought my banjo hey look at that a banjo player my skills are endless aren't they okay well that's uh that's me gonna put the bread in now and uh i'll um show you it when it comes out bye for now well i just want to talk you through my larder uh mostly um protein carbohydrate sugar you know so plenty of pasta uh tins tinned everything so spam sardines i love these tins of sardines you know because you just in your pocket pop it open eat it with your fingers eat as you go you know um, maybe it just harps back to my military days where you know um, eat when you can and sleep if you have to that sort of thing i mean these are perfect pocket size you know two or three of those in your pockets and you're off like i say just pop them open eat them with your fingers these uh fragmentless pies steak and kidney pies i saw those individual tins thought they were cracking and uh, again you know high protein uh, some tuna corned beef uh, spicy meatballs with uh, baked beans you know and they're the same again just uh, zip the lid like a uh, like a coat tin um, and off you go uh, baked beans assorted soups I love these little tins of fruit you know these little tins of fruit are exactly the same ring pour on the top you know it's, uh, full of uh, uh, syrupy sugar you know you get the hit from the uh from the fruit pretty um pretty instant really uh tin potatoes that was a new one for me but i saw i saw them and i kind of thought you know i'll give them a go uh in truth that's that's quite a lot of food for one person if you were to pop one of those tins and eat the lot but then you know if you're only having one big scoff a day um that just might do it uh sea salt and uh i showed you the uh uh Tate and lyle's golden syrup um pasta i've just made some bread so you've seen the uh plain flour and then incidentals in there there's some breakfast cereals there's some um, seasoning some sauces some oils yeast um, chocolate noodles all that sort of stuff and then underneath is the kind of admin stuff but really if i was to, if I was to have a uh, a good main meal a day out of there i think that's got to keep me going for seven to ten days i would have thought and um, of course all the kind of teas and coffees that you could uh, possibly drink you know the uh, bread in the stove is uh, rocking along reckon that'll be another kind of 10 minutes or so and uh, just put the kettle on the top to to use the heat you know 
I'm trying uh, to use the stove as little as possible because obviously uh, it runs on unleaded petrol and it costs me money. So I pretty much use that when I first set up, you know. But what I have done in the past is I've lit both of the rings on there and put the potbelly stove on it and used it as an oven. So um, it's quite a versatile gadget, but um, anybody that's watched any of my vids, they, they know how I love this little stove and uh, use it all the time. So that was me filling up my larder recently, did a bit of shopping and uh, that's what I came up with, but all tins, good for seven to 10 days. Okay, YouTube, all got a little bit uh, dark, a little bit quick, but uh, there's my uh, beautiful loaf of bread. Wow, morning YouTube. Really mild last night, slept with the uh, end of the tent open, had that little fire there. Kept that going till uh, about four o'clock this morning and then uh, that eventually went out, but really mild, you know, didn't bother stooping it up. Looks like it'll be a uh, nice bright day. Didn't rain last night really, so uh, all good, nothing bad. Look forward to uh, a nice day. Back soon. You filming your little buggy, mate. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, and my breakfast arriving, of course. <laughs> Top notch. Cheers, mate. <laughs> there you go. Is that a double yoga? There you go. Two for one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's talk about roughing it, eh? Okay, my mad farmer has just departed. Uh, just see him there. Nothing like having your breakfast delivered, is it? They uh, stock uh, about 500 chickens on this farm and uh, 150 sheep and some cattle sometimes, as well as uh, arable crops. But um, they opened this field up for a bit of camping, and uh, I think it's just uh, an attempt to make a little bit more money. But it's working well for him, you know, and it is a beautiful spot, that's for sure. So there you go, I had a good night last night. I uh, don't think I'm going to do a lot today, probably stay till out or around midday and strike the camp and head back, but um, it's been a great uh, couple of hours away, that's for sure. Uh, all the kit's fine, apart from the uh, power trolley, which I'm going to have to have a look at when I get back and uh, restock a few fuels, but apart from that, it's all top notch. Uh, cheers YouTube, bye. Just giving you a 360 of my playground. Feel sorry for the guy that has to cut the grass. It's the weekend of the London Marathon here in the UK and I've uh, run it a couple of times. This is about as far away from the madness of uh, a massive event in London as you can get. Leaving my camp as I found it. <laughs> Any comments, love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Back soon.